Hog Rider here to make sure that we stop the charge. I'm going to go in for Goblins. I'm going to bounce it back, and then I'm going to go for a Fireball. That Hog Rider got so much value. It bounced back that Dark Prince like none other. That was sick, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? It's JKK Tag, and today we're back at it again with a Hog Rider Mega Knight deck. In this deck, you're going to have three bait components. You're going to have the Inferno Dragon, the Goblins, and the Bats. For Zap Bait, you're going to have the Inferno Dragon and the Bats, and you're also going to have Log Bait with the Goblins. This deck cycles very fast, coming in at 3.4 Elixir. If your opponent has P.E.K.K.A., you can just kite the P.E.K.K.A. to the opposite lane with an Ice Golem. If they have Electro Wizard, you can just Fireball it. And a little bit of damage from the Inferno Dragon plus Fireball kills the Electro Wizard, so you're not at huge disadvantage against P.E.K.K.A. decks. Check out this deck for Pushing Ladder or for Grand Challenges, and let me know how it ends up working for you down below in the comment section. Anyway, we're going to go for Goblins at the river. We're going to see what's up. This dude, Tobio4 from Thunder Gaming, just goes in for the Ice Wizard. So after seeing Ice Wizard, most certainly he's going to have Nato. Hopefully he doesn't have Tombstone as well. I'm going to end up going in for an Inferno Dragon here. Make sure that we can kill his Ice Wizard. He's going to have Bowler. So he's kind of trying to bait me to go opposite lane with a Hog. I don't really want to do that at all. I think that's a pretty bad play. So I just want a Fireball here. See if we can get some extra damage. Maybe we can hit a unit right in front. We do not hit anything. I was hoping he was going to drop like an Electro Wizard or something. Did not do so. I'm going to go in for Bats here. And then he's going to go for a Golem. So he probably has NATO with this. We'll see though. We have Bats. So might get some extra damage. Bats make it harder to NATO. Hog's going to get so much on him. He's just eating that like a snack because he's going to really rely on this offense here. I want to go in for an Ice Golem to go and kite that Baby Dragon. Then I want to go in for an Inferno Dragon off to the side so it doesn't get pulverized. And then I'm thinking I need to Fireball and Zap that. I need that dead. Yeah. If that didn't die, I think we were kind of screwed. He went in for a NATO on offense, which is pretty peculiar. But luckily for us, we still have the Inferno Dragon alive and thriving on the map. I can go in for a Hog Rider here. And he most likely doesn't have Electro Wizard since he showcased a Bowler and an Ice Wizard. So we're going to go for a Hog Rider to defend that Inferno Dragon. Maybe we can get some extra value here. Maybe we can get at least one hit with the Hog. If we get one hit with the Hog and kill the Ice Wizard, that's a win for me. And that's exactly what's up. So, kind of want to go in for Goblins. This is just exhausted one of his best answers to the Goblins. He just used his Barb Barrel. He's going to go drop a Baby Dragon, which is a 4 Elixir Commitment, which he obviously does not want to drop. I'm going to go in for an Ice Golem here to tank up the Baby Dragon hits. And we'll see what he does. I want to go for an Inferno Dragon in the back just to cycle because he's probably going to drop units that die to it. Yep, and he does. He drops a bowler right into us. So I'm going to go for bats as well. And we'll see what he does. But I think this is going to be a prime position for us. If I fireball, he's going to go in for a NATO. I think that I can go in for a hog rider since just NATO. And he went in for a lightning, which is super, super aggressive, my man. I'm going for a barb barrel so I can go for goblins. So I'm just seeing like, hey, this is what you're dropping. I'm not going to get over aggressive. I'm waiting for you to drop cards. I'm cycling my Inferno Dragons in the back. You're over committing, and then I take advantage of it and I go for the Hog. Not playing too aggressive. This dude, on the other hand, is super, super feisty, super aggressive. I need to end up going in for a Mega Knight here. It looks like he's actually able to pull that opposite lane, which was really well played on his end. But since he just went in for a NATO, I can go in for a Hog Rider. Maybe we'll do some funky type of tower trade here. And he's going to go in for... A Barbarian Barrel. I really want to kill that before. Oh man, he's going to go in for a Lightning soon. I want to stack up units across my map. Please let me defend. And we do! I end up dropping the Ice Golem, the Inferno Dragon, and the Mega Knight. And we barely end up blocking that Lightning. Thank God. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. I'm going to go for an Ice Golem in the back. We'll see what's up. Harry Potter is here. I'm going to go drop Goblins at the river. He's going to go in for a Princess. So we'll see what he has in store for us. He's going to go in for a Log. That Log is leveled up. It is a level 13 Log. He's got that gold, guys. I'm going to end up going for the Inferno Dragon in the back. I think that the Princess locks onto the Ice Golem. We'll see, though. I'm going to go in for Bats here, and then I'm also going to go in for a Hog Rider, so then we could actually make some type of offense in the right-hand lane. Don't really want to go straight up into the uh, Menacing <laughs> Rascals there, so we'll see what's up. I'm going to probably have to go in for an Ice Golem. It will kill two birds with one stone. It will be able to kite the Dark Prince and also deal some of the damage, or some death damage on top of the Rascal Girls, hopefully. Maybe slow them down a little bit? No, so I'm going to have to go Goblins. I didn't really want to. Okay, so he's going to have Spear Goblins with us as well. This is going to be a pretty hefty bait deck, I assume. I'll just eat them. There's not too much I can do. He's going to go in for a Barrel, so I'm going to go in for Bats on top. I was trying to save my Bats for that. If I dropped the Bats on top, then I didn't have an answer to the... Uh, I didn't have an answer at all to the Barrel, so I had to save the Bats for the Barrel. I'm going to go for a Fireball, so then we can get some extra damage, eliminate those Girl Rascals, so I don't have to deal with them now. 
He's gonna go for Princess, so I'm gonna go for Inferno Dragon right on top. Obviously, that's not the best answer. It won't provide too much counter push potential, but I have to drop it because it's the only attacking answer I have in my hand here. I'm gonna go Zap right on top. Maybe we can get some extra chip damage with that Inferno Dragon. A little bit of sizzle damage. Go for an Ice Golem here. I'm gonna get ready to roll with Goblins on defense against the impending barrel. Because remember, he dropped Spear Goblins last time and then he went for the barrel. So he's probably going to do the same thing here. I'm dropping my Goblins off to the side so then they can get extra damage on top of the bit. You know what he might do? He might go in for the Dark Prince plus barrel. So I'm going to go in for Hog Rider here to make sure that we stop the charge. I'm going to go in for Goblins. I'm going to bounce it back. And then I'm going to go for a Fireball. That Hog Rider got so much value. It bounced back that Dark Prince like none other. That was sick, guys. You see that? I can go for the Ice Golem, so then we can block the Spear Goblins and the Princess. I can go for Bats again. And he's going to go for another Dark Goblin. Or, not Dark Goblin, but a Dark Prince. He might rocket this, um, but we'll just see what he does. I want to zap everything together. I want to go in for Goblins yet again. I want to go in for a Hog Rider, so then we can make some offense. And then I want to go for Bats. I want to Fireball all that for some extra value on top of those Girl Rascals. Obliterate them. He might go in for Bats. I will zap them if he does that. I want to cycle my Inferno Dragons offensively here so I can get back to another Hog Rider. I just need to get value here. I just need to get that Hog on the map. If that Hog gets on top of the tower, then we'll get so much damage. Please give it to Daddy. We need one more hit, one more hit. Please, let's go. Okay, clean. So we'll see what he does here. He's going to give us superb value with the Mega Knight on offense, which I wanted to see earlier. He's now going to allow us to unleash the Beast. I'm going to go for an Inferno Dragon on top of that, and then I'm going to get ready. I don't actually have Zap and Cycle, so... I guess I have to go for bats on top of his bats. Bats on bats, actually. And he's going to give us some ice golem plus goblins value here. So I drop those in different placements. I just can't eat that amount of damage. It would be a staggering amount of damage. I'm going to fireball that? No, I can Mega Knight. I think Mega Knight's the wave. Definitely can't let that happen, so I'm going to end up going for a hog rider here. Bats again. I'm going to fireball that. And I think we get a hit, maybe. It was really close. Yet so far away. You can't just make misplays, so <laughs> we're not about it. I'm not going to drop misplays. not going to go super aggressive. We're not going to go in for Hog Riders when we can't justifiably do so. Go for a Hog when we're up Elixir, when I can definitely get that damage. I'm going to go Zap. He baits out a Rocket. Means I can Fireball because that's a 6 Elixir commitment to kill my Hog Rider. He had to do it, though. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Very good player. Difficult matchup, but we prevail. All right, we got a game against Dr. Cortex. We're going to be sussing out of good luck here. False Logic. What's up, brother? I'm going to go in for Goblins right at the river. Off to the side gets one more hit, so always do that. Ice Golem in the back. It's going to go for a Hog Rider. I actually have to go for Bats, and then I have to Zap on top. So we'll see what's up, see if we can get some value. Going for another Hog Rider, converting defense into offense with our Bats here. And he's going to go for a Tesla, but he misses, and he has to nade. Oh. Okay. Yeah. This is not what I wanted to play against. Yep, I, I don't even know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. He's going to have NATO and Tesla. This is a very fun time in the life of Jake. I'm going to go for the Inferno Dragon in the back. And we're going to hope that he just suicides a Hog Rider and then loses the game. We'll see, though. I shouldn't have done that. I should have realized he probably has Rocket and Multifarious spells. But, you know, I'm kind of a potato, so I didn't do that. I'm waiting for the Hog Rider. I need to counter push with that. The Goblin's here yet again. See if we can get some value. He's got Log as well. Yikes. So how many spells does he have plus test? Oh, let's see. Okay. I'm gonna hog here, see if we can get some value with that. I could fireball just for the memes. See if we get some extra damage on the Xe. I think we kill the Xe. No, we don't. That's the yikes. I don't even have enough elixir for Mega Knight right now. I hope he drops a hog in front. That would make my day. Okay, so I'm gonna go Mega Knight here. That hog rider still gets one hit though, which is really unfortunate. So we'll see what he does to defend this. He's gonna have bats, it's not gonna be enough. We'll just zap them, they're out of sight, out of mind. I can go for my own bats here because you know, he doesn't have a suitable answer for them. He's gonna probably have to NATO them back, which is really, really bad. And then the Mega Knight gets another hit, so <laughs> I'm fine with that, guys. We take that trade. Oh, he's giving us the Dark Prince, the suicidal Dark Prince that just got hit by the arrows. He is so mad, man. He is super sad. I'm gonna go in for a Hog Rider here. I can go in for a Fireball on top of the Tesla. He's about, no, he didn't give me the value. I really wanted an extra hit. It didn't really happen. He's probably going to go in for a pre-log, so I'm not going to go drop goblins. I'm just going to zap this with my Mega Knight, so we deny all but one hit. 
As we saw before, he really doesn't have a great answer to the bat, so he's going to have to nato this every single time, probably. If one of them gets on top of the tower, that's more than enough to justify it. Yep, and it does. That's going to be in fireball range. That's beautiful. Gotta love it, guys. Actually, we just straight up take the tower. The bats were completely and utterly extraneous. I didn't see that at the time, but apparently they weren't needed. Bats, we did not need your help today. He's going to go for the defensive Tesla because obviously that uh, is very offensive at the same time. It, it can attack from right there. It's like got laser beams, guys. Better watch out. I'm going to go in for a zap. We're just going to mount a serious offense so then he's not able to make any type of defense. Uh, that's actually meaningful. If he drops all his units on defense, he can't mount any offense, and then he can't take a tower. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Weird matchup, though. I didn't really want to fall for part two. We're going to go for bats here, and we're going to see what's up. This guy goes in for Lava Hound and Baby Dragon, so it's going to be Lava Hound Miner, most likely. Lava Hound is leveled up, guys. It has that star. Oof, I'm going to go in for an Inferno Dragon to melt it. They get ready to go with an Ice Golem here. And I'm also going to go in for a zap as soon as I can. So Ice Golem plus zap. I'll end up killing those minions. I can go in for goblins right on top of the miner. Then I should be able to get some sublime counter push potential with this hog rider, inferno dragon, and goblins composition. I don't understand what that was, but we'll take it, guys. I'm pretty sure the tombstone is supposed to be dropped in front of your tower against the uh, hog rider, but I think he misplayed. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess, like, the only situation you would ever do that is if you think I have Graveyard, but I don't think, like, Hog Rider Graveyard is an actual thing unless you're playing on Ladder, which this is not, and I don't play those type of decks. It's gonna go and cycle an Inferno Dragon in the back. We'll see what's up. The Inferno Dragon's gonna get slowed down by the Skeleton, so that's really, really good for me, so it's not gonna just go waddle to my opponent's side of the map for a while. So it's just gonna chill here. It's gonna relax a bit, and then we can go in for Bats, maybe to snipe his Inferno Dragon. So here we go. We're gonna be going in for the Bats. I want our Inferno Dragon to win here. I'm going to go in for a zap on top of his bats. Or no, he's not his bats, but top of his minions. And our Inferno Dragon prevails. I can go in for Hog Rider and Goblin's opposite lane because I don't really want to go into him. And then I want to go in for an Ice Golem just to block his bit nasty Baby Dragon from hitting us. And since he doesn't have an answer to bats, since he has a Barbarian Barrel, which is... I've never really understood why people have Barbarian Barrel with a minor deck, especially when you have... Baby Dragon, Lava Hound, like, I think it's just a really bad idea because you need air units and you need air defense. Like, I, I think this is a really horrible deck construction, regardless of how many like 12 wins it gets. It gets a lot of 12 wins. This deck is very, very popular. It is extremely, it has a great track record, but it's still not that good in my opinion. I just don't think that it's good in specific matchups where you need an answer to air. So I think it's really good in some matchups, but you're just gonna lose every single time when someone has adequate air defenses, so. Just gonna go keep cycling my Inferno Dragon, cycle them in the back. Not gonna get overzealous and try to jump right into him. I don't really care about my Mega Knight here. Rather just relax a little bit. I'm gonna go in for a Hog Rider, zap again. Make sure that my Inferno Dragon is always alive on my side of the map. I'm gonna go in for another Bats in the back. I'm gonna go in for Goblins, waiting for him to stack up more units for a Fireball. So we're gonna do that when it hits. Here we go, I'm gonna hit everything with that juicy fireball. Gonna go for another Inferno Dragon, still having the bats alive because he just doesn't have an answer at all. And we will win this game specifically because he doesn't have an answer to the bats. If he did, I would love to cycle double bats, one cycle of bats early, and then out cycle him because our deck is a lot faster. So that's what you want to do if they have zap. Got a game against Renee. We're gonna be sussing out a hog rider to kick things off, see what's up. He's gonna go for bats, okay, sir. And a Mega Knight. May be a uh, similar matchup, might be the same thing. We'll see. I'm going to go kite with an ice golem here. Go drop an inferno dragon. See if he wants to zap anything. He's not going to. Okay. Mega Knight's out of cycle, out of mind. He only has zap in this deck. He's running a similar deck to us. So I can go in for goblins. If he zaps them, they stay alive. And it's definitely going to just be the similar deck. Could zap that, but that would be an overextension. Not going to. I want to save my zap for the bats. Okay, he's probably going to hog here. We'll see, though. I'm going to go bats right on top. If he zaps, I will go for an ice clone. Otherwise, we're just going to vibe. Relax a bit. Not about the life of overextending, boys. It's really hoping for a hog there. Go for an ice clone in the back here. See what this man wants to do. He's going to go for his bats already. So that means I can go cycle my Inferno Dragon passively in the back and not worry. He's going to give us some very nice value with his Mega Knight. And he's most likely going to end up dropping his Inferno Dragon soon. So I want to go in for my Goblins. And then I want to go in for my Bats. He doesn't do it. 
guy. So our bats will end up shredding his Mega Knight. So that's good for us. Very good for us. We don't have to deal with it. His Mega Knight's out of cycle and out of mind. So I can go for a Hog Rider and apply some aggression. He's going to go for Inferno Dragon. But the Inferno Dragon does not do so well against Hog. That's two hits. I love that. Can go for an Ice Gloom to go kite this back. I go for my own Inferno Dragon because I have to now. And I guess I'm going to go in for Goblins because he's probably going to zap. Need to make sure that my Inferno Dragon stays alive. So that was well played on his end, but he did just go in for a zap. So that means I can go in for my bats. I can go for a Hog Rider, and he's going to have to fireball all this. And I can just zap his his uh, bats. Because there's no way for him to keep his Mega Knight alive. Mega Knight should just straight up die to this Inferno Dragon. I'm going to go for an Ice Gloom to block again. I'm going to go for bats, trying to win the battle at the river. If I do that, then I do win the game. So we're going to be going in for a zap as well. I'm going to go for goblins. As I said before, if you keep that Inferno Dragon alive, it is going to give us dividends. So that's exactly what's up. Our Inferno Dragon reigns supreme yet again, time after time. And all we have to do is cycle one more card. I don't even want to do anything yet until I can get back to a hog. We got double Inferno Dragon domination on the map. The mirror matchup is pretty strong, guys. This deck is pretty strong. Everyone's running it. Pretty evident that mirror matchups only really happen when you're running strong decks. I'm going to be dropping more fireballs, trying to get some chip damage, trying to put him in fireball vicinity. He is not in fireball vicinity just yet. So we have to relax. We can't do too much. I just want to go cycle another Inferno Dragon in the back. He's going to do the same thing. I'm going to get ready and raring to go with bats. He's going to go for a Mega Knight, so I want to kite everything opposite lane with an Ice Golem. I want to go in for goblins here. He's going to go in for a zap, which isn't too scary. He has to fireball that if he has any way of killing that, but he will not be able to. Go for a fireball. I'm going to go for a zap. I'm also going to go for bats on top of the Inferno Dragon. I'm going to let the Mega Knight hit because it doesn't matter. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. We finesse Renee. Very good game. Solid matchup. Fun game. Oof, feels good, man.